What's up, I'm Andrew Mahomes. Uh, Justin Coleman, we're here in El Reno with the Route 66 attraction here by Hugh Mead. He actually designed this so you could actually get into Route 66, obviously. Yeah, little known fact, uh, <laughs> or fun fact, should I say. Uh, Hugh Mead is also the artist that designed the OKC letters at the Wheeler District. Fair so, enough. all of that to say, we're starting in El Reno, the onion burger capital, and we got SIDS across the street from us, and we're headed over to Robert's Grill. It's got maximum occupancy of 17. Like you're in and out and you're elbow to elbow talking to somebody's cousin that's right down the bar for you. <laughs> so. And I mean, if you close the door all the way, maybe you can fit 19 people in there. Yeah. <laughs> but we're going to start off the day there and we're going to go on to two other locations along Route 66. They have their burgers that they're beginning to give us and they're also got some surprises for us. Our last one, we have no clue what we're eating. So it's an adventure for all of us. <laughs> all I know is I'm eating food, man. We're here for the day. It's going to be great. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. We got Edward, the owner of Robert's Grill. So today we're gonna try the onion burger from them. So tell us a little bit about Robert's Grill. How long have you been open? Well, it's been open since 1926. Wow. And uh, it's had probably eight owners through the, through the day of opening. But, uh, I've had it for 32 years. I started working here in 79 when I was 12. Wow. And I bought it in 89. So that's really I've been cool. Here 42 years altogether. So you started awesome. when you were 12? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, now, what is this here? Talk about this a little bit. That is our chili and slaw that goes on our hot dogs. Uh, once you guys try that, then I'll, I'll fix you a hot dog if you want to try one. Then uh, this is our double meat onion burger here. And, uh, it's made from fresh ground beef, and we uh, slice the onions every day, so uh, that, that's what makes good product. All right, good fantastic. Hey, Edward, has this uh, recipe changed on this onion burger at all? No, yeah. it's just uh, this. Yeah. This really hasn't. This hasn't at all because it's uh, just classic fresh, onion burger, fresh ground beef, and onions. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Yeah. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> all right. Well, I think it's time to try some burger. All right, now we got the burger. Let's try it, man. It is I, time. I like to have a little ketchup, a little mustard on my uh, on my burger, so. Ketchup and pickles, that's yeah. me. Oh, it's not served that way, right? If you have it here, it's served just, just straight up? Yeah, we, we'll let you put whatever you want on. And if you order it to go, then it's? Yeah. Okay. This is good, man. I think it's really good. Can't beat fresh ground beef, man. Classic cheese onion burger, man. Oh, yeah. Well, I think I'm going to stay here and hang out with Edward. <laughs> you guys can go to the next spot. Come get me in a couple hours. I'll probably try everything else here. Well, <laughs> we got this. We're going to try this here. We got the yes, coleslaw sir. and chili. Yeah. Coffee. And, and Edward said we've never had anything like it. And... It definitely looks different. I didn't realize that was coleslaw. Me and Justin thought it was pineapples. That's what I did. <laughs> Let's see. I'm from the South, man, so I just, I just get in there and get dirty, you know? I don't need to. <laughs> I'm one of those finger lickers. Pull that plate over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that flavor already. Too much of a beard. Oh, wow. You were right. Let you know a little secret. I don't too much care for coleslaw, but this is good. Dude, I'm the same, I'm the same way. Like, I don't care for coleslaw, but I'll try it. Like, yeah, this, this is, is great, man. It's a, uh, it's hard to kind of explain a little bit. Right. It has that, its own signature flavor. Yeah. Mmm. It's kind of like, it's kind of like it's got sweetness from the chili, but it's obviously not the chili. It's mm. definitely the coleslaw. coleslaw. That is really good. Is that like a secret recipe? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm with you on that. I'm not I'm not a huge coleslaw fan, but this is this is really good. Amazing. <laughs> you scarfed down that dog, man. man that dog was. <laughs> we were here for the burger, and then the dog was the surprise. It's still in the show. Mm -hmm. We're 
here at Redbird Coffee House making a quick stop, getting a drink, got me some lavender lemonade. I got a classic cold brew, which is pretty good. We got a nice mocha here. We'll get a little pick me up before we hit our next location. We're here in Yukon at Local with Executive Chef Randy. Hello, how are you today? And we're going to be trying some of their specialties of their fried deviled eggs. And what did you call this? The local club sandwich. Local club sandwich. Yeah. Or is he dubbed it the man sandwich? Yeah, there it's the go. man sandwich. I like that. Um, we, we got beards here. Everybody has beards. <laughs> yes. so. Tell us about like what's all inside the sandwich okay, here. So it's just, you know, it's a local club. It was I didn't want to do a traditional club sandwich. So it's got turkey, pastrami, ham, bacon, grilled onions, American and Swiss cheese. And then it has a homemade um, horseradish mustard sauce on it with pickles. So Really? Yes. House made. House made. Man. That's gonna be a lot to take in. Yeah. It's a big sandwich, so I mean. Yeah. <laughs> That's a little bit of an understatement. I'm not ignoring you, Randy. I'm just <laughs> looking at all this goodness here that I just. Well, y'all said burgers and melts. I'm like, you know what? I got the perfect sandwich for you. Oh yeah. So yeah. I mean, so, it's one that's not too big to you know to eat, but it's not you know. Sometimes they make these monstrosities, and you're like, hey, it looks good, but how am I gonna eat that? Yeah. That this, one you can actually eat and enjoy, and, you know. And, this is enough for like so. a good comfortable stomach and a good comfortable nap right words. Yeah. one thing i do want to point out because everybody loves ranch this is house made ranch and jalapeno ranch yes which i'm going to drink i'm not even going to dip <laughs> so sometimes it's a little spicy we use fresh jalapenos we grill them on the grill and then puree them with cayenne pepper oh. and add them to the ranch dressing so i mean it depends on the jalapenos if they're hot or not hot but sometimes it's really hot sometimes it's you know a little milder so that's going to be fantastic the that we use the time so. this is a chef after my own heart man <laughs> i cannot stress how much i love local house-made food yeah um let's talk about these little fried deviled eggs yeah like what i mean that's our number one appetizer what happened like was it just like one day you fell and hit your head and you're kind of like this is a great idea <laughs> you know honestly i didn't create this okay but i made them to what they are today okay um so when i started there was someone else already here and but they quit soon after that and they were they were slacking a lot so <laughs> over the years when we have definitely perfected them okay um and so i just kind of made them better than what they were um and i have one guy here who's been here with me for now for almost four years who hand breads every one of them oh hand breads um, so in the very beginning we were boiling eggs and filling them you know what I mean? Yeah. And doing it all from scratch. But now I buy pre boiled eggs because he hand breads about 2,500 eggs a week. Yeah. Do you hear that, Oklahoma? I don't know if we can. <laughs> If we can use language on this show, <laughs> but Oklahoma, get your ass down here. We got a guy in the back that's hand breading. He's back there sweating. Yeah. Hand breading deviled eggs for he you to enjoy. Smile on his face. Twenty five hundred a week. Yeah, easily. That's awesome. God. So. Well, I'm gonna let you two guys continue to banter back and forth. I gotta try this ranch. Okay. That I'm just. <laughs> I, I couldn't. I couldn't wait any longer. I mean, it's time to eat. Mmm. So. You gotta try one of those eggs, though, man. So. I love it. Oh, that's the jalapeno. Dude. I, I got to dip yeah. that too. See, so, you know, everyone does Chipotle Ranch. And I didn't want to be the same. You know, I always want to do something just a little bit different. So oh, yeah. Comes I in love the bag, that. You know what I mean? I love that. It's so, so good. Yeah. So, not only did you make deviled eggs better, you made ranch better. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a compliment. <laughs> Man. Really, right? So, you want to try one of those deviled eggs now? Oh, yeah. You can get into that. So what we do, we just cut and gut the eggs and we just you Smell know, that, bro. take all the yolk and then mm. make the filling out of the yolk and then just pipe it back into the to the fried whites so we can bread. So we don't Oh my goodness. With, we don't serve them with anything because I think they're perfect the way they are. They are, man. Um, but some people like ranch or jalapeno ranch with them. Mm -hmm. um, so Well, that's what I was trying to imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. So this is incredible. Oh, yeah. Jalapeno ranch. That is, that is definitely. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a great mixture of and everything. I hear all the time, I don't eat deviled eggs. I'm like, yeah, but these are a touch different. I don't either, but. I'm not a huge fan, but this, I, I mean. Should, I said, just try them. These are you know, incredible. But uh, they got a different texture.
texture. Mm -hmm. They do. They have a whole different profile than a regular double bag. Mm. Um, it's nothing the same. So I like I like the crunchiness that's yeah. in there with the fried that breaks up the texture and stuff. That's yeah. really good. That's really good. That's fantastic. So um, you guys can go ahead. No. <laughs> <laughs> I made my body weight in them. I'm good. <laughs> so. All right, man. You ready? I'm digging to the sandwich, man. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. Sandwich. What was that? That's my, that's my favorite sandwich. Oh, man. So. See, it's a mammoth. It is. Oh. There's so many I got to show there. that, man. Look at that. There's so many layers. Yeah. Just, oh, man. You know how you have a good day? You go celebrate with an ice cold beer. This is the food equivalent of that. Like, you know what? I feel good. It is. And it's I feel like, good about myself today. I'm going to go get a man sandwich. It's like almost kind of like a southern take on a club sandwich. Yeah. In a way. Yeah. It's not your traditional. Like I said, I just wanted to change it up a little bit and make it a little more, you know, for big guys to have a good sandwich to eat, you know, instead of having just the, the bread. Texas toast, you know, yeah. and force. So. I'll definitely be sending you a Christmas card this year, man. <laughs> if you have not been here, you're cheating yourself. <laughs> and I got in the back this hand bread and these deviled eggs. It's almost overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot to experience here. There's a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm glad y'all enjoyed, man. Appreciate yeah, man. It, so. I put my heart into it. So. You can tell. It's made with love. <laughs> I'm from the South, and that's what we say. Right. Grandma made that with love. Yep. You made this with love. Well, thank you. I think we're probably going to sit here and finish up our sandwiches, and we're probably not going to be able to pass these up at all. Yeah, like, man. We're just going to finish this up. And we're just going to pick out. No one. So, so stop being rude. Get out of here. We're eating. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're talking with the chef, and we'll see y'all guys in the next one. No, get in your cars and get down here. Yeah, first and foremost. All right, we're here at the local gift shop. It's right next door to the restaurant itself, and we, I mean, I got the bourbon blue. Or no, blueberry bourbon barbecue sauce. I was reading it backwards. <laughs> um, and that just sounds freaking amazing. But they I got to grab a bottle of that too. All kinds of local stuff. They usually have local honey that's here. They got t-shirts for, you know, support local. Small Swing by and pick up them. one. Uh, they got tall grass. Got some nice candles. It's a local candle maker. I know the guys. Um, and there's, I mean, they're working on getting it set up to where they can have cheesecake in the restaurant. That's coming soon. And then hopefully eventually it'll get to the point to where you can actually buy the cheesecake and take it home with you. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, there's, they support local as much as they can do what they can. And I mean, how much more local can you get really? So, all right, well, we're going to head out to uh, Luther after this and probably make a couple stops on the way, but uh, we're going to head on to the next location. Here at Farmstead in Luther, and we are at our final location. We got three dishes that we're going to be trying. We got a burger, a patty melt, and a dip. It's a smoked pimento cheese. Smoked pimento cheese. So uh, yeah, this is what we're going to be trying for the day, the end of the day. But first, let's talk a little bit about Farmstead. Um, this is Matthew and Neil here, and Matthew is the owner, and Neil is the manager here. So. Tell us a little bit about how you guys got started and why you chose this location specifically, really. Well, uh, this location is a building that was built in 1897 here in Luther. Luther was a uh, train stop town. It was a Santa Fe Depot right up over there, which is why downtown is here and Route 66 is over there because the town was built around the railroad, gotcha. not, the, not Route 66. Salt building, fell in love with it, wanted to rehab it. And uh, at that time, that was five years ago, six years ago, Luther didn't have a, a uh, grocery store. So the idea was to have a, a local economy store. And over time, uh, we got a, a grocery store and the, the concept here evolved from primarily market to primarily restaurant. And so probably about four years, we largely with Neil's expertise and development of the menu, uh, development of the customer service that we were known for now. We still sell with a 
focus on local artisans, whether it's our family beef that's sold and, and you're about to enjoy, local artists whose beautiful works are on the walls. Yeah, a lot of that here. I love it, that's fantastic. All right, let's talk a little bit about the dish here. I mean, like, how did you guys come up with this? Mm -hmm. And what, what are, are we we these three? All right, so the first so, one over here, that's our signature burger. Okay. So it's the all had beef, the local beef, uh, some local bacon. Then it's got your pepper jack cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion. Again, over half that's local. Some uh, jalapeno crisp. I see that. And mm -hmm. then the deviled egg salad, again, with those local eggs. That's so, going to be good. Yeah. That's going to be really good. I've got our smoked pimento cheese dip or, or side uh, that uses a, a smoked cheeses as well as regular cheese, uh, cheddar cheese and jack cheese. It's also got some uh, hatch green chili in it. So, you know, adds a little flavor palette there. Yeah. And then I've got our patty melt. Uh, the patty melt we're actually using our inconceivable burger is what we call it. It's our veggie patty. It's house made. <laughs> uh, it's a veggie patty with no beans. Inconceivable. Uh, and then we have our Luther caviar or cowboy caviar. I like oh, that. I like cowboy caviar. I like that. I'm, I've seen the so dish several all, times, but I've never seen it called that. these are our take on each one of those those common sides, but a lot of the recipes, a lot of the menu kind of revolves around grandma's recipes, grandma's yeah. cooking, comfort foods. I like the fact that you guys have, like, it's very supportive of the farm, home, raw beef, authentic, grass-fed, and then it's also, like, the vegetarian options. like. You yeah. got both sides of this. It's fantastic. Yeah. Got to cook. I can also do everything on the menu, including biscuits and gravy, gluten free. I did notice the cookies. The cookies look incredible nice. over there. <laughs> well, I think it's time that we're going to try some of this food. This is going to be so good. Yeah, I already know. He said he was in the kitchen with his Mimi. So, <laughs> I'm from the south. That's how it starts. If you're in the kitchen with Mimi, it's that's right. Hands down. That's right. All right, we'll dig in. The veggie option is incredible. It's hmm. like you can't really tell. Let's switch sides. I haven't tried. <laughs> <laughs> they need to get a shot of that too, because that's that's vegetarian option. Yes. And this looks like straight cow. It, it's an entirely house-made recipe that Neil and Carrie Ann here came up with. And, and for a beef guy, I'm, I'll eat it. That's what I'm saying. Like, okay, so this is ridiculous. It is so good. Whoa. One of my regular customers is allergic to beef. She she tried that shortly after we got them in and then asked me three times, are you sure? Because I don't want to go to the hospital. Are you sure this is not? This? <laughs> yes, it's not. That's this fantastic. is amazing, man. Oh, I got to have another bite. It's <laughs> like I need to order one of those though. I love the jalapeno crisp in it. Adds texture to it but it's not like the fried onion that you're getting kind of dill. That's super good. Mm -hmm. I'm going for the deviled egg. That is good stuff. Well, merry go around again. <laughs> <laughs> That's like perfect for a hot summer day. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I'm going to be a little biased because I love pimento cheese, so. And, <laughs> and this is. That's really good. As good as everything else here man wow so like i'm not huge on pimento and i think it's just maybe like a specific type or something the way it's made <clears throat> that's incredible he said i can taste the hatch chilies like that is mm -hmm. it's not that on a burger. oh yeah that's not Don't spicy. put ideas in my head neil it's it's just the right amount like it's somebody that's not huge into spice or anything it's not a problem that's really really good right wow I think it's the, this is the end of the trip, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, and being from the South, you know, when somebody tells you, hey, we have a, a vegetarian, you're like, what? I, that doesn't compute to me. <laughs> I need a pig, <laughs> I need a cow, I need a something to, that's heavy in meat, right? I'm a carnivore. Yeah. But that burger, it's so good. It tastes like a burger. I'm that is so good. Yeah. I mean, you heard it straight from the owner. That's like, I own cattle, I farm cattle. <laughs> I will eat this vegetarian option though. I'll tell you, I was very skeptical when, when Neil and Carrie Ann said, hey, we're formulating a veggie burger. And my response We're still encouraged to tell yeah. the beef guy, not to, not to <laughs> <laughs> you're not. But, <laughs> my beef's right at the door. Like, <laughs> 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 
reminds you of those El Paso commercials where he's like, get a rope. You <laughs> 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 tell the cattle guy. <laughs> oh, man, right, that's well, hilarious. I think this is going to be the end of the trip. All right, man. Like, we're just going to have to call it quits, man. Well, Matt, Neil, we appreciate the hospitality. Certainly. It was fantastic. It was incredible. You yeah, outdid yourself, man. Thanks, guys. We ate so much food. <laughs> like, so good. So it's much good, good for a, a nap time right now. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, this is this is the end. This is the the end of the past for the day. Yeah. Thank y'all for checking it out. Uh, make sure you check out Uncovering Oklahoma. Yeah. Uh, Subscribe to their Patreon. Support them as the best way you can. Yep. And any support is better than no support. So it helps us. Well, of course, we don't get paid, but this yeah. is just too fun. We get to eat. Yeah. So. Helps us keep doing this. Helps us <laughs> exactly. Keep doing this. So, so subscribe, support, and see y'all guys on the next adventure. Yeah, so. man. I'm about to go take a nap in the back seat. It's a good time. See y'all later. I'm out. Later.